There will be 50,000 people to watch the running of the Traverse Stake on August 29th. The final tickets were sold out over the weekend. Now, everyone waits to see if American Pharaoh will race. More on that coming up. Plus, it's the first day of practice for high school football teams. We head over to Glens Falls to see how the Indians are shaping up. And the Code Blue Shelter in Glens Falls will be looking for a new home. I've got the details, and it's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and here's a look at what's making news today in Saratoga, Warren, and Washington counties. Well, in our late story, if you're looking to attend Travers Day at the Saratoga Race Course on August 29th, then you're out of luck. If you visit Naira's website, you'll be greeted with a pop-up message that informs you that Travers Day is sold out. Naira reported selling the final tickets over the weekend. The venue sold out eight days after they announced that they are setting the capacity at 50,000. Now, Naira wanted to ensure the safety of all its patrons. While Travers Day is sold out, people can still get tickets from resale sites, such as StubHub. Tickets range from $20 to $1,000 for box seats. As far as the horses go, everyone is still awaiting word on whether or not American Pharaoh will run. He is eligible to race after receiving a nomination over the weekend. Trainer Bob Baffert says that a decision will be made after the scheduled Sunday workout. Now, changing from news to weather. Some storms, big ones, passed through the region over the weekend. However, the weather was mostly warm and sunny. Uh, how's the wake shaping up? For the latest, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, the cold blue shelter in Glens Falls will be looking for a new home. For the past two years, the shelter was located at the former Explore building on Warren Street. Well, that building has been rented out to Finders Keepers consignment store year-round. Open Door Director Kim Cook said they were urgently looking for a new spot. Open Door also runs a soup kitchen on Lawrence Street. However, it does not meet city code to act as an emergency shelter. Last year, the shelter was open for over a month straight after extreme cold temperatures set in across the region. The new shelter must be handicap accessible, have a sprinkler system, and storage space. In other news, the Warren County Economic Development Council and the Adirondack Regional Chamber of Commerce are coming up with a game plan to receive a half a billion dollar grant. EDC President Ed Bartholomew says, the goal of the contest is to generate transformational strategies and initiatives that connect various employers, industries, and themes in the region. Bartholomew believes that establishing a medical device research and development consortium would be a logical choice for the capital region. The contest, known as the Upstate Revitalization Initiative, is a one-time grant that will offer the three winning regions $100 million a year for the next five years. Well, Ed Bartholomew is inviting anyone interested in proposing ideas to attend the meeting. Now, the meeting will take place at SUNY Adirondack beginning at 8 a.m. this Wednesday morning. Members of the 10 Region Capital District, EDC, will be on hand to listen to the needs of Warren and Washington counties. They will then meet to submit a final plan for the contest. In sports, the season officially began for the high school teams in the region with their first practice. Our cameras headed to Glens Falls High School this morning as head coach Pat Lilock talked with his returning and new players for the first time. It was a hot day to start practice, so during an early water break, we caught up with Coach Lilock, who discussed his expectations for this season. Not one, but two quarterbacks, we think, who can throw the ball and run the ball pretty well. And, and up front's going to be the key. If this crew can come together up front, which I think they can, I think we could be a, a very solid team. 
Now we will cover more practices all this week as our cameras head to Queensbury and South Glens Falls tomorrow as we prepare you for the start of the season. And our first play-by-play -play football broadcast is September 4th as we head to Corinth High School. Still to come, Liz Cassidy, the commissioner of the Blonde versus Brunettes football game, is here to discuss the fifth annual game to benefit the Alzheimer's Association of Northeast New York. Plus, Aaron Kuhn and Aaron Dove are here to talk about the performance of Smokey Joe's Cafe, which is happening this weekend at the Charles Wood Theater in Glens Falls. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.